Okay, folks, uh, welcome. This um, you should be able to um, uh, see my screen now. Let's start again. Uh, and yeah, okay. So for the second time, uh, welcome. This uh, uh, video, this uh, webinar, actually started um, 15 minutes ago, uh, but it looks like we've had a malfunction in Citrix, and most of you couldn't. Uh, hear it or couldn't um, uh, get access to it. So uh, everyone getting it now? Everyone happy? Let me see some, type some uh, notes please uh, in the uh, questions box. Yes, uh, Steve's got it, good. Yes, shifts in now, good all, good all, good all. Right, so that was the problem. I had to restart <coughs> the Citrix program, uh, Daryl. All right, so we're running a bit late, folks, but thank you. I'm uh, glad you're all <laughs> getting now. What a bugger technology. Anyway. Um, I'll uh, repeat briefly what I said that uh, I'm going to talk to you today about these TO3 turns, uh, which is the start of your trading system. Um, I learnt many years ago that most of you handle continuation trades fairly well, but uh, having to uh, do the um, the turns are not so good. So uh, Daniel Code is all about turns. We're uh, absolutely passionate about market turns because that's the right place to get into markets to start with. So um, I'm going to run, this is called part one. We're going to talk mainly about the TO3 uh, and the blue line trades today. Part two, uh, next week, uh, I'm going to talk <coughs> about the plus trades uh, and what happens on the bars subsequent to a, a TO3 or a blue line turn. We're not going to get through all of that material in one webinar. Uh, and I also want to talk to you about inside bars, how you can trade them, and outside bars, what they are and what they mean. Uh, so that'll be uh, next week. Uh, and additionally, next week, we have uh, Frank de Bayer, um, who some of you know. Frank's a young man, came to a uh, Daniel Coe tutorial in Taupo uh, in December uh, 2012. Um, had never seen a chart in his life. Uh, brought his lovely wife, Anne, with him, and he's now one of our very, very best traders. Um, so good, in fact, that he's uh, asked me for permission to uh, trade the Daniel Co. GMAT uh, for SEAL program in the Robins World Cup, uh, which he's doing. He's uh, currently uh, in second place there. Uh, we're very uh, pleased for him, and that's a leader follower program, which means you're going to be able to follow his trades, uh, and all of his trades will go uh, straight into your account. Uh, automatically, it's a it's a very uh, new, fashionable sort of uh, cool thing. Uh, particularly you people not 100% uh, confident about your trading or haven't got the time to do it all. Uh, this leader follower is an automated uh, trading program. Uh, so Frank's going to do a webinar with me next week. That'll be the second <coughs> of the two webinars we do. It's going to be on Thursday night, U.S. Eastern Time at 8:30. So. Make sure you're available to uh, see Frank, and I'll talk to you about the four seal that he uses. Um, Babs, Babs, staying awake in London, <laughs> good on you. Um, and the other one will be uh, part two uh, of um, uh, the TO3 signal. We'll be talking about uh, blue line trades, and we'll be moving then into the plus signals uh, eventually. You, you can look at the TO3s as the absolute most basic of our trading platforms. Uh, we've had it for years and years. It's been running for five or six, seven years now. Uh, we've got uh, enormous uh, documentation on it. Uh, we had Dave Hunt, who some of you know was a student of mine, was running the live trade room uh, where he traded the TO3 signals live in front of an uh, audience of uh, 140 or so Daniel Code members for a year. Um, and uh, you can uh, see every single trade he made there in our Daniel Code trade book. Uh, for those of you who seriously want to be good traders. Um, after that, we had uh, Terry run it for 16 months uh, on the Genie Auto Trade. Uh, it's a completely mechanical trading system that uh, we have that takes uh, about four minutes a day of your time. It does everything else. It places the orders. It moves the stops. Uh, and it exits the way it's programmed to do so. We've got another uh, two, and, two and a half years of very, very detailed data of live trading uh, on that. Um, so let's uh, move on and get there. Um, so uh, you can read all of this um, uh, as we go. Uh, you can drive a car without knowing the details of an injection system. Um, so what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to teach you to drive. Um, and as we move on to the uh, more <coughs> esoteric signals, the plus signals uh, that go with the TO3 signals, 
you can either trade this stuff as a one day uh, standalone system or as you learn more um, you can find you'll be able to stay in the markets nearly all the time if you want to um, and don't forget that uh, while we're very interested in all sorts of trading the money is made on the long pull it's the trades that you can stay in for three seven eight days that make the big money um, and that's uh, not a new idea Jesse Livermore said that uh, many many years ago famous uh, famous uh, trader um, okay so um, remember with these TO3 signals they're ideal for you people starting off if you trade them just the way the instructions are at the website uh, they are optimized for safety not for profitability uh, but even so they've run at about seven percent per month uh, for many many years uh, and uh, you'll start by just trading one or two markets and take on more uh, as your confidence in your own ability grows um, so we've got a huge range of trading programs here. We've got uh, short-term trading programs, uh, GMAG Pro for the uh, when you want to be really, really good at this stuff, um, and pretty much everything in between. Um, and uh, you can learn as much as you can from the webinars and from my articles uh, and the website, um, and then all these programs are available to you when you're ready. Uh, you can come to a Daniel Code tutorial, and I'll teach you how to do all this stuff for yourselves. Uh, and we th think we hope the next tutorial will be uh, in Colorado Springs, <coughs> maybe late September, October, um, and uh, we'll let you know about that. Keep an eye on the website. Uh, so here's what you're going to need to start. You, for those of you who are newbies, you need a decent charting program uh, and a daily data service. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I've used Trade Navigator for 25 years. I do recommend it. Um, you need a competent, trustworthy, patient broker. Same thing, I've used Jerry Winter for many years, he's my personal broker, uh, and Jerry's had the benefit, he's done a couple of Daniel Code tutorials, uh, and he knows how it works, um, and uh, he's also got a very generous offer, uh, which I'll show you later on, you can call Jerry on Skype, uh, and have an hour talking to him about uh, Daniel Code, any other uh, trading information you need, and you do need um, a good relationship with your broker, because they can... Uh, assist you with a great many things. Um, we can set you folks up with a, a free tra trade navigator uh, trial for your charting programs if you haven't already got it. Uh, you don't need to have it for, for, for anything except our auto trade programs. Uh, all of our auto trade programs do run on trade navigator, uh, but you can trade uh, these uh, trade uh, TO3s and plus and blue line signals. You can trade them on any program. Um, so. Uh, Let's move on. Uh, markets, margins, and tick values. We cover 15 futures and 15 forex markets. Uh, each one has its own margin uh, and its own tick or pip value. They call uh, the ticks, they call them pip in forex. It stands for percentage of something or other. I've forgotten now, but the main purpose is that it's designed to try and uh, present the image that forex is uh, a different type of trading to futures uh, and it's not um, all markets are the same I call them ticks whether they're in forex or futures um, and they all markets trade exactly the same there are some differences in forex which I'll tell you about uh, the main one being that uh, futures uh, all trade through a central uh, exchange uh, of one sort or another there are a few of them uh, but if you're trading a futures contract exchange traded futures contract you will all get exactly the same prices your data will be all be correct. With Forex, uh, there are a, a, a great number of uh, Forex uh, platforms. <laughs> They're not very well regulated. Um, the US is starting to get uh, serious about regulating Forex. Uh, the rest of the world doesn't, um, and you'll find that these different Forex platforms will give you slightly different uh, prices. Um, so uh, it's quite common that uh, different people will have actually slightly different uh, uh, prices on their charts for Forex. Uh, the main thing with uh, Forex is that your uh, platform holds the spread for a reasonable time. We've uh, all seen horror stories about platforms that uh, change their spread uh, on very short notice and we'll talk more about that later. Um, uh, here's just what we've been talking. Look out for spreads in Forex platforms. We've actually seen uh, Forex platforms that have uh, moved the spread that's the difference between the uh, bid and the ask or the uh, uh, buy offer and the sell price. Uh, that spread is usually, depends on the on what market it is, but uh, New Zealand USD is often uh, four to six, seven uh, ticks. 
uh, we've seen that move from there to 90 ticks uh, in the space of two hours uh, with a uh, company called FXCM who's very, very big in this business uh, and that didn't make trading impossible because they can hit both sides of the trade uh, including your stop without actually recording a trade. I, I don't know that that practice goes on anymore. I've been very critical of them in the past. Um, it may be because they're a US company, they're regulated now uh, that they've cleaned up their act. But uh, basically, the more that the companies advertise, uh, the worse they are in Forex. Um, okay, I wanted to uh, just let you see some figures in uh, TO3 Plus um, because, uh, you know, you can't get an understanding of uh, what's involved in it. <clears throat> and here's some historical stuff. Um, this is a uh, post uh, made uh, back in 2010 uh, by Dave um, Hunt, who was running the live trade room for us. Um, and uh, he was saying that for the November signals, um, 36 were winners, that's 88%, 5 were losers, 12%, 46% uh, were not elected. Um, and um, uh, you can just see that the at the bottom there he's actually put the uh, figures um, through for uh, 10 months of the year uh, to give you a feel for how these uh, signals actually work and trade. Um, uh, this is another post from him. Uh, I was looking for the end of year one, um, and this is not it, but it's a, a good sample of what this thing does. This has been very, very solid through years and years and years, <coughs> and uh, uh, on this month, which was December, um, <coughs> excuse me, the 100,000 SIM account was out to 151,000, um, and uh, it was returning 7.4% a month, uh, and it, in fact, did finish up doing that for the whole year. Uh, there are plenty of Daniel Code members uh, here who were in the trade with it, room with him at the time. Uh, thanks, Shift. Uh, Pip says uh, percentage in point. Uh, thank you. I don't think that's right, incidentally, mate, but I, I thank you. Uh, there's something else there. Um, here's another look at these results. Um, we had uh, the results of the auto trade. That's the Genie auto trade. Uh, it's a completely mechanical trading system that takes the TO3 and plus signals. Uh, it puts the <coughs> puts your trades on, puts the stops on, knows how to do outside bar stop and reverse, knows how to move the uh, stops and knows when to exit. It's an extraordinary piece of equipment uh, that not many of you use. Um, uh, but uh, it'll take you about five minutes a day to use Genie, which is the auto trade for all of these signals. Um, and um, it made um, uh, 95,000 um, in 18. I put up 18 months of trading. Uh, one month was not traded due to technical issues. Uh, Terry tells me that's actually 16 months. We had some technical issues. This is with pretty advanced technology at the time. Uh, and uh, we had a few times we had to uh, stop trading the auto trade. Uh, but in any event, you can see that it uh, made an enormous amount of money. Um, and um, I then listed um, some of the uh, individual markets. Uh, because although a lot of people have analyzed that document, uh, nobody's got round uh, to saying, well, what were the markets that outperformed and the ones that didn't? Um, and you can see here that uh, uh, crude oil, gold, DAX, uh, copper, uh, sugar, which has only has a $550 margin, incidentally, um, and uh, US T-bonds provided uh, the bulk of the profit. So if you're a little bit selective um, about what markets you trade, uh, you can actually improve those results um, pretty substantially. Um, I wanted to show you a few charts now of uh, some recent trading. Um, and uh, for any of you who have um, uh, been listening to the Masters uh, series from Trade Navigator, they've had their uh, gun partners doing a series of webinars called the Masters series. Uh, these are supposedly the very best uh, uh, traders and teachers in the world. I'm doing mine on the 12th of August, in case uh, any of you are interested, um, with Trade Navigator. Um, uh, but uh, you've probably heard a great a number of them, in fact almost all of them say indicators are not very good, um, uh, particularly old-fashioned indicators like uh, stochastics and uh, momentum studies. Um, and I've heard three or four of them start off by saying indicators aren't much good. Uh, that, that, that's true for them because they don't know the numbers. Um, and indicators on their own are not much good because they tend to get overbought for long periods of time. Uh, and oversold for long periods of time. Uh, and they don't know what the numbers are, the, the critical numbers of support and resistance uh, for markets. Um, and some people 
uh, have a guess at it and some use uh, Fibonacci numbers which are not accurate or correct um, and the whole point about the Daniel code is that it runs on a ratio of numbers which are different to anything you've ever seen um, and in this next series of uh, charts I'm going to show you just how markets find these targets and it's quite quite extraordinary uh, this is Euro USD I think this chart is up to date today um, and you can find that uh, yesterday uh, remember I'm a day ahead of you in Australia it's Friday down here down under uh, so um, what you're looking at the last bar on that chart Thursday's complete bar uh, and it's uh, dancing with the black line at uh, 13525 uh, and the day before uh, which would be Wednesday it found the blue line perfectly and closed on the black line um, and that degree of precision is what markets do all the time uh, and that's what creates the setup bars for all of our trades. So, um, if somebody tells you that uh, uh, normal uh, studies don't work very well, uh, the answer is that's true if you don't know the Daniel Code numbers. Uh, but as I'm going to show you, if you know the Daniel Code numbers, they're absolute dynamite. Um, here's the uh, New Zealand uh, US dollar um, trade. Uh, it was a blue line sell signal. Uh, right up the top there somewhere near 88 um, and I've talked to you before about the blue line trades they're the ones that you try to hold on to uh, for longer um, and uh, there are specific methods of using your stop loss uh, on a blue line trade basically um, you follow the fast stochastic which is not shown on this chart that's the 533 stochastic uh, and you use a two bar trailing stop until it gets oversold in which case uh, you go to a one bar trading stop. But here's a, like a really, really easy uh, blue line trade. You don't have to work any of this out for yourself. I put them up on the website every day um, and we have a machine called the trade program uh, that knows to carry them forward the appropriate periods of time uh, if they haven't been elected and that machine gives you the exact entry point, uh, the place to put your stop loss, um, the first target if you want to trade that way. Um, or, or not in this case a blue line trade I would have been urging you for a long time uh, to hold on to these trades a bit longer and to follow the stochastic stop uh, and you can see there's a pretty um, uh, easy $1,290 for you. Uh, this is USD JPY we had a big uh, trade in this today um, 457 per one contract uh, pretty nice uh, this was a plus sell signal um, and it was triggered by the fact that uh, it did a key reversal bar at the red line at 101.77 uh, just went through it a few ticks and that's uh, it's the numbers and it's the reaction of markets at these Daniel Code numbers uh, which are unknown to others they're as far as I know a secret known only to Daniel Code members which is not so secret anymore but the wider world certainly doesn't know about them and has never heard of them um, I started inventing these uh, 20 years ago uh, and uh, it's just gone on being refined uh, and since then. Now, let me not be proud and say I invented them. I didn't invent them at all. Um, there's a whole process about uh, these numbers which were basically uh, written in code uh, in Daniel's book in the Bible. Uh, that's why I call it the Daniel Code. Um, and once you start to unravel the code, all of these ratios and numbers appear. Um, you don't, you may not like numbers. A lot of people, you know, numbers. Oh God, oh, no good with numbers. Well, uh, <coughs> that, that, that's you don't, don't need to be because it's all visual. I create these charts and um, I create the signals for you anyway. In case you, you know, uh, we don't have uh, numbers on all of the charts, uh, and you may not be comfortable with it, but visually. Uh, you can see how that uh, market did a beautiful uh, key reversal bar uh, at the Daniel Code retracement ratio uh, at 101.77 it was just a few ticks through it um, and down it went so it had a you know, nice easy trade there for you that was a uh, plus trade today uh, here's crude oil I'm showing you these charts because I want you to get a feel uh, for how these markets work um, and uh, to understand how incredibly powerful the Daniel Code is. This was a blue line signal and a TO3 buy signal uh, two days ago. You can see the market ran down. We had a very good trade all the way down there and then it found that blue line at 98.94. You can see the low. Uh, let me go and find my uh, tool here. Um, 
which is called Spotlight. Uh, you can see on this bar here, uh, which would have been Tuesday's bar, um, how incredibly accurately it found uh, this blue line. And that's what markets do all the time. They run from one Daniel code to another. Uh, so that setup, that was the setup bar that set up a blue line buy signal uh, and a TO3 buy signal, <coughs> excuse me, for Wednesday. Off it went, didn't look so good at the close on Wednesday. Uh, but look where the high was, just under the first of the Daniel Code retracements. Uh, then it roared up and look where it closed uh, today, right at <coughs> the uh, Daniel Code 59.3 retracement, uh, which is the dominant Daniel Code number uh, at 103.20 run, uh, almost exact to the tick. Uh, and for simply uh, reading the Daniel Code website uh, on a regular basis, you made a lazy uh, 2000 plus dollars. So. Uh, that's how the blue line signals work and that's how accurate they are. <coughs> uh, this is today's sell um, in the E-mini. We had, uh, uh, I've been telling you for a week that the market uh, was due to co co uh, correct. Those of you who have read uh, S&P in a cocked hat, uh, which has been on the front page of the Daniel Code website for two weeks um, and also has been sent to all of you who are on our mailing list, will are known to be uh, on the alert for a retracement. We had a retracement. Uh, and uh, then we had the rally up uh, and you can see here, here was the setup bar, here's your target recognition, it went a few ticks through the Daniel Code blue line and ran away and that's uh, how these uh, blue lines work, they're like magnets to markets and even though uh, the people trading it don't actually know what they're doing, they're ruled, all markets are ruled by the Daniel Code numbers. Uh, so we had <coughs> for today, <coughs> do excuse me, <coughs> We had for today a sell in the NASDAQ, a sell in the Dow, a sell in the S&P. Um, and uh, I suppose you've all got absolute pockets full of money. Uh, and these are uh, happen to be blue line and TO3 cells. They were all uh, posted on the website. And I guess you're just all rolling in it today. But I want to show you that this idea that studies don't work. They work perfectly as long as you know what the Daniel Code prices are. And if you don't understand numbers, You've only got to look at blue lines and red lines and when you become a Daniel Code member, uh, we'll give you the tools that uh, uh, you see here, um, including all these red line uh, retracement studies. Um, I've switched over now to the silver chart. Um, don't forget the gold chart is almost exactly the same. Um, and what you people will be looking at, you'll be saying, well, oh, that was good. There was the plus sell. So we've got all the money on the way down. Uh, here's our key reversal bar. It kicked through one of the Daniel Code retracement, uh, got us fright and did a key reversal bar there and that set up uh, the buy signal uh, for today. Uh, so I guess you all made a whole lot of money on uh, silver today uh, and all gold. We also had a buy signal in gold for today um, and uh, it was all very nice. Uh, that's not why I've got this chart here. What I've got it here for is to show you uh, how incredible these blue lines are. Uh, we had a blue line, this has moved along, I move them when I update the charts twice a week. Uh, this blue line was sitting through the middle here at 21.20 and we had these days, 3, 4, 5, 7, 12, 14, 13, 14 days with this market doing nothing. But it kept finding that 21.20 blue line, not with precision, but it kept finding it. It would break through it a little bit, it broke through it a little bit, the high was at the number, the open was at the number. The high was at the number, this mark, this bar, outside bar closed at 21.20. Um, and you can see that for all these days, uh, either the, the high or the open or the close, the, the close is also valid target recognition, um, were hanging right at this Daniel Code number of 21.20. Uh, and those of you who see the charts would have noticed there was no number at all between 21.20 and 21.64. Um, and that's a pretty big move. Uh, and there was nothing there except white space. There was no other number. Um, and I can remember thinking, gee, that's unusual. Uh, so if this market is to kick up, it's going to have to be a big move because where does it have to go? It has to go to the next Daniel Code number, and so it did. Um, and this is incidentally one tick away uh, from the uh, 2164 high. Uh, then that set up our sell signal, and you can see we got the run down, and we made money on the run up. Uh, and you can have all of this, and it's posted for you every day. I couldn't make it easier than it is. Um, here's the Russell trade, same thing. Um, this was a blue line trade way back here. Uh, this was a uh, blue line sell signal. 
Now you can see that we were looking for 1210.7. The high was 1210.7. Stochastics were overboard. Momentum was failing. Uh, so I issued a blue line sell signal. Uh, for this day, it wasn't elected. The next day, I issued a plus sell signal just to make sure you didn't miss this trade. Uh, it put in a little null bar, which means uh, you carry the trade forward to the next day, and here it is, uh, straight down, one, two, three, four, five days down. One up bar, that up buy side was not elected, um, as you'll learn when I teach you about trading inside bars. Then three more down, $7,000 for doing absolutely nothing. All you had to do was read the Daniel Code website, get the signals, go to the trade program. It told you where to put your entry, where to put your stop. Uh, I've done webinar after webinar telling you that these blue line trades are the ones to hold on to. Um, so I guess those of you who have been paying any attention at all uh, have managed to pocket $7,000 on this trade. Uh, pretty fantastic stuff. And look where it's gone to. It's run all the way down until it's found the black line, which is a very, very powerful. Um, that's the last line, last point of resistance um, and support within the operating swing for the Daniel Code. Um, and uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens next. Uh, here's UST bonds. Um, same thing. We had a uh, we had a plus buy signal here, and it was rated as a C, which meant uh, follow it up with a trailing stop, according to the protocol. But you can see there was the uh, that was the day of the signal. It was an inside bar, so you carry a forward whoosh. Look at all this money you got today, um, and you can see how it just tore through these blue lines. But look, where did it stop? Had to stop uh, at right out of Daniel Code a number, and it does 138.20. Uh, and it was two ticks through that that stopped that momentum move. Uh, I think there's probably uh, uh, more to come. Uh, but I wanted to show you those charts, folks, just to get you used to the feel uh, of this sort of trading, how simple it is, how direct it is, uh, how you can see it on a lot of the charts, the ones that we uh, do charts for and for the others. Uh, you will at the very least know how I'm doing it and what I'm doing when I create these signals for you. Um, here is um, a page I want you to write down these details. This is Jerry Winter's contacts. Um, he's with uh, Future Path in Chicago now, um, and there is his phone number uh, and also his Skype, jerry.winter. Um, and Jerry's uh, prepared to uh, offer you through the Daniel Code a special free one-on-one -on -one consultation. You don't have to have an account with him or anything else, but if you're interested in trading uh, and you're thinking of going forward with your trading, give Jerry a call. Um, he'll be happy to give you a special private one-on-one -on -one consultation, uh, talk to you about any part of Daniel Code uh, trading uh, that you're interested in. Um, and here is the uh, page on uh, about to change for you now. There we are, free trials. Any part of this stuff that you're interested in, folks, uh, you can arrange a free trial um, of the Daniel Code by contacting Terry at support at thedanielcode.com. Uh, and we can arrange uh, a free trial of uh, Genesis Trade Navigator data and software uh, for you and uh, also get you a uh, um, free teaching lesson there as well. They're very good uh, people, very helpful. Um, our interests are all the same. We want to get people trading uh, and we want to get them trading well because if you start trading um, and you lose your money, that uh, means we've, you're lost to the business forever for most people. Uh, so I want to make sure we get you trading safely. Uh, and well, and uh, I am required to show you this, <coughs> excuse me, compliance page um, that uh, is real. You should read it carefully, um, and you should also remember that all of the um, uh, trades that we talk about, uh, in, including uh, Daryl's coming on to talk to you about the uh, Fraxen trading results, they are what is called hypothetical performance. In other words, they're not done on a real um, a money account. They're done on SIM accounts. Uh, or they're taken from charts, and there are uh, further limitations to that. So do be aware of that. Uh, it's something I'm required uh, by legislation to show you, and I'm a big one on telling you. Uh, you can't be too cautious with your trading. Uh, most people who try to teach you trading don't know what they're talking about, um, and uh, anything much you see on the Internet uh, is uh, not real. Uh, know the people that you're dealing with, and um, um, you'll be fine. Okay, uh, so that's um, the end of that. Uh, so we've managed to get through, let me get rid of my 
um, normal document uh, and we've now uh, finished that. I had a couple of things uh, I want to show you uh, uh, very quickly. Um, uh, this first one you should be seeing a sage <coughs> who is the uh, lady who runs our uh, frac Zen scoring for us uh, is usually kind enough to uh, dig up a couple of interesting frac Zen charts for me on the morning <laughs> of every webinar that I do <coughs> excuse me and uh, <coughs> she sent me two today for you to look at uh, this is the last frac Zen trade in soybeans uh, and uh, it made a nice uh, thirteen hundred dollars which is uh, pretty fantastic we love that uh, and the other one that she thought would be of interest to you uh, was uh, this uh, uh, 4x trade here this is the New Zealand US dollar chart which uh, those of you who follow international affairs will know that um, uh, the price of uh, milk are the two big products New Zealand's dependent on a uh, milk it's the biggest dairy exporter in the world it's a small country with not many people but lots and lots of cows uh, and sheep, beautiful place. Um, I've lived there for the last uh, 12 years, um, and it is uh, truly paradise. Uh, so anyway, uh, their uh, milk powder um, price, dairy dairy auction for milk powder went down uh, pretty dramatically, and uh, the New Zealand dollar took a bit of a hit. Um, and here's how you could have capitalised it with your Franklin uh, trading, because Franklin, of course, knows these things before the market. Um, and there was an easy uh, $900 there. Uh, let me just get rid of this now and show you. Um, let's go to our charts uh, briefly. Um, this is uh, NASDAQ I hadn't shown you. Uh, it was very nice. Um, I'm not quite sure why that's sitting there, but it was a blue line sell today, folks. So uh, you made all that uh, money way. Money, yes, T. Okay, let me uh, show you. Somebody asked for a sage, I think, asked to see the uh, S&P <coughs> chart. Uh, with the big trend lines on it. So uh, let me scrunch it up to show you uh, where it all comes from first um, and then I'll back it off so we can look in detail. So um, here's your 2009 low uh, way down here um, and um, what you've got uh, up here, the blue lines um, are the Daniel Code trading channel. Uh, that's a very special way of drawing a regression channel um, and uh, it's very important for forecasting uh, because as you can see this market uh, once, this is one standard deviation, the darker line let me get my highlight bar back here, might help um, spotlight, here it is, <coughs> you can see this darker blue line through the middle, this is the median uh, or mean of the trading channel <coughs> uh, the first line up is one standard deviation above the mean this line is two standard deviations above the mean, same on the bottom, this is one standard deviation below the mean and two standard deviations below the mean. Um, orderly markets, particularly uh, equities, love to run within these channels um, and you can see that this market went up, uh, hit the one standard deviation upside, immediately corrected to the mean. Uh, went up, had another go at it, um, closed just above it, went down to one standard deviation below the mean. Back up again, two hits at one standard deviation up. This time it pulled back enough and went to two standard deviations below the mean. And that's as far as it could go without changing the dominant trend. Uh, so it ran back up, tracked the mean and the one standard deviation downside all the way through here. Uh, and we'll open it up a bit now, um, say, so you can see these lines. And we find a tool. Um, and um, you can see these are the these are the cocked hats that I was talking about um, in that article. Uh, let's uh, move that across in the middle a bit by changing the uh, dates axis axis. We can change this to uh, twenty five, which might push it out of that corner a little bit uh, and we'll make it bigger. Um, so this was the cocked hat right here uh, that we had. These are fourth degree lines or fourth seal lines that I've drawn for you. Um, and you can see that two of them intersected there very, very tightly. Um, and remember these uh, time cycles here. This was an expiring 
uh, Daniel Code time cycle at 472, uh, that's an iteration of the 59. It just goes on every 59, every 59. And um, uh, the angel told Daniel, it shall be for time, times, and an half. Uh, so for this time cycle, time is 59, uh, and it keeps calculating that, and an half as well. Um, <clears throat> so you can see there's the cocked hat. We have this absolute precision intersection of uh, the two red lines um, and then uh, we went on to the next period. Now for this uh, chart here we're looking at a six day chart. Um, these charts are plus or minus one period in accuracy and that's because uh, the time count can start from either a bar high low or alternately they can start from the closing high low uh, which is why that amount varies. So you've got one more period there past the time cycle and boom uh, here's your correction starting. Um, I think the one um, Sage wanted to see, I thought it was this one, that's showing six days, uh, which is not uh, the one I wanted to show you. Um, let's see if we can find the one you wanted. It looks like this is the 12 day uh, chart folks. Um, which is telling you the same thing. Here are your 59 cycles coming along. There's time. This would be times and and half. This is times. Uh, this is and half. So uh, when we look at this 12-day uh, chart, you can see that um, this market's been tracking up. Here it's tracking up all the way up this uh, four seal line. Um, and you had um, um, a uh, minor time cycle 37 there. Um, and there's your uh, dominant uh, 59 time cycle. <coughs> uh, remember, plus or minus accuracy, one period. Uh, so it can bite as soon as this week here, which is what it looks like it's starting to do, uh, or if not, next week. Uh, so that was that. Uh, now let me uh, change this, uh, because that should have been the 24-day chart we were looking at. Um, and here it is. So. Um, Let's uh, move this back a bit. Uh, here's your four seal lines now. Sage, it's a little clearer here. Uh, there was your 180, 118. There's, a, there's your 59 is time. This is uh, time and and half. Uh, this is twice time, so this would be times. Um, and you can see that was the, uh, looked to be like that's going to be the momentum high. Uh, for this move, it certainly is today, so let's not waste the opportunity. You want, to, you want to gloat a bit about these things when you can, because it might not be right tomorrow. <laughs> Shift will know all about that, mate. Um, but anyway, there's your cocked hat. Uh, there's your 24-day chart. This is our long-term trading chart, uh, and you can see how that uh, this market's just bounced back away from uh, the lower of those lines. Um, uh, so there's the um, time cycle expiring valid for one more period. Uh, over there. Um, I think uh, if you're not up to date on this stuff, if you read the latest long-term trend chart uh, that's on the front of the website, I've put in there quite a lot of material uh, on the S&P and having a look at this. Uh, so feel free with that. So next week, folks, I've shown you how the TO3 is or how to work. Uh, I don't know that I've actually uh, gone and shown you um, how to trade it, which is probably the most important thing. And I'm trying to think which chart did I have that on, C, D, E, S. Here it is. Wow, this is the one I was looking for. Okay, this is how you trade the TO3s. This is the basic trading, the defensive way of trading that you start with. Uh, from here next week, I'm going to teach you a whole lot more. Uh, but basically, um, you will have a setup bar. This is the setup bar right here. I'll go and get my highlighter again, uh, and this is the uh, spotlight they call it. This is the setup bar. Now, uh, this became a TO3 uh, for all sorts of reasons. It was actually also a blue line trade. Uh, there was a blue line right at the top here that I've showed you on a previous chart. Uh, fast stochastic overbought, slow stochastic overbought, um, and there's divergence in the momentum here. Uh, which is, is, is uh, what set up a blue line trade, not required. Uh, Divergent has nothing to do with TO3 trades there uh, or time term trades. So there was the setup bar. 
um, it was posted for you um, as a blue line cell uh, for Thursday. Um, let's go back a bit before that. The Dow was posted as a blue line and a TO3 cell uh, on for Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, gold was a buy there. Um, copper, what else have we got there? Uh, T-bonds was a buy. So uh, um, Dow was a, a sell as early as uh, Wednesday. Um, S&P was a blue line and a TO3 sell for Thursday, uh, as was the NASDAQ. Uh, so there's bar one. That's your setup bar. Uh, and your stop is going to go at that high, above that high, plus two ticks. We use a little buffer uh, for our orders. It's plus or minus two ticks for futures and five ticks for Forex. That's a little bigger in Forex because... Uh, as I've told you, the uh, price from the different platforms is not exactly the same. Uh, here's uh, the next bar. There's your setup bar. This is the execution bar. You're going to sell two ticks below the true low, which is this bar's low here, minus two ticks. So you're short there. Uh, we then have a very small first target. Um, and this is done on purpose. Now, I know people say, oh, I don't like the first target. Um, it gets you out of too many trades. Yes, it does. Uh, but I've showed you the results of trading this way. It's optimized for safety. Um, you know, it's knocking out at 7% a month, uh, which is, you know, 80-something percent a year. Uh, so if you don't like it this way, you don't have to use it, incidentally. Uh, if you feel more confident about your trading, you can just uh, let these trades uh, run, particularly blue line trades, let them run for quite a few days. Uh, but the TO3, the first target is there. It is small, uh, but the idea is at the first target, you get rid of half your position, so you've got a little profit, you bank that, and you move your stop loss on the balance of your position to break even, uh, which means you've got rid of all the risk. Uh, if you're only trading one contract, just move your stop loss to break even at the first target, which means you've got rid of all of the risk. Now, many, many times the market will then come back enough just to stop you out uh, and then go roaring on and you'll say, oh, damn, I don't like this style of trading. If you want a style of trading that you can, you know, that is optimized and suitable for you, that's fine. Uh, but these are the basics. And the fact is, this is a very safe way of trading. It's designed that way, and it's knocking out 84% a year, and it has done so year after year after year. But if you don't like to use the first target, uh, you don't have to. Uh, it's your money. Do what you want. Uh, I'm telling you the safest way I know to trade. Uh, and if you want to uh, make amends and alter that, the way of trading, which I do personally. Um, I um, uh, want to see these trades go further, but uh, it's up to you. But do start by observing the rules. Uh, once you know enough about this stuff, you can you know start to amend those rules a bit. Okay, so that's what we're doing here. That was our third trick, and our fourth trick is we exit at the first profitable close, and the first profitable close means just that. If the close is one tick better than your entry price. That's where you exit. Sometimes you'll get bars like this uh, where your exit is a whole, whole way away from your entry price, and it's pretty good. Okay, um, so I think I've um, shown you the main things. Um, next week we're going to talk about the plus signals uh, and how you put it all together um, and how you can stay in these trades if you like uh, all the time. I can tell you uh, this was a TO3 buy signal. It ran all the way up. That was a, a blue light sell signal. Inside bar, carry it forward. You got short in this bar all the way down. Then this was the plus buy. Went back up. This wasn't so flash, I can tell you. Uh, but then, uh, as always, markets, uh, uh, after they've got you thoroughly beaten, they'll make it up to you. Uh, so that was great. Uh, so, Daryl, we've been going, uh, my friend, for one hour from our aborted first start and 45 minutes from our uh, real first start. Um, so at this stage, are you are you there, mate? Are you available, Daryl? Let's have a look. Where's Daryl gone? Attendees. Yeah, here, John. Okay, I'm going to uh, throw the, I'm going to throw this over to you um, because um, I don't. Uh, you've sent me the figures. Thanks very much. I haven't had a chance to go through them, but uh, you might uh, bring us up to date on uh, what's been happening. Uh, with uh, Frank Zen. Uh, and I'm going to come back, folks. Those of you who've asked questions, I'm going to answer them all. Uh, and Daryl's going to uh, take over now and talk to you 
uh, about the latest FRAXEN results. So, Daryl, yes, I can see your screen, um, and uh, please uh, take over and go ahead. Okay, John, thank you. I'll try and um, keep this brief because we have gone over time a wee bit. It's just um, starting with the uh, June uh, futures results. I guess um, trading is a little bit like the weather in that the, uh, the sun doesn't always shine and um, certainly been the case in Wellington in the last uh, couple of weeks anyway, um, middle of our winter down here. And as you can see, we've, um, we've got a, a June result which is uh, the lowest of our, of our six months here to date. Um, and a number of markets which uh, which we've got uh, red numbers there for, and it just goes to show that um, you know markets don't uh, don't behave and perform in the same way all the time, and June has been a reflection of of what does happen um, in trading. It's just a reality of trading. June has uh, I just to say July has followed on uh, from June in that. You'll see the box here at the bottom is our first of July to sixteenth of July um, result just for the just for the month, and we're currently running at a um, a small loss for, for July. Um, how long before we turn around? We don't know, but we do. We have come to expect or anticipate that we that we do have these down periods in trading, and we're we're experiencing one of those uh, at the moment, and we expect that some time it will reverse. Um, what it does just reinforce once again is that in trading you've got to take a, a longer term view and you've got to take a, a wide view across you know across several markets and when trading gets into a difficult period like this that is um, it certainly reinforces that message. Uh, just uh, reverting across to um, to the forex markets, and we we quite often have a situation where if the futures markets are doing poorly, forex is doing well, or if, and vice versa. But in this little trading period, we ha we aren't actually experiencing that. We've just had a we've just had an all round uh, pretty bad patch, and you'll see that um, uh, for June we we once again had our at our second loss month um, out of our out of our six months to date, um, you'll also notice that we record our forex markets using the text stop um, that goes out uh, with all of the text messages. But the, we also record using this 180 180 tick um, catastrophe stop, if you like, and you'll see that for once again we where we recorded that loss for Forex back in, um, uh, in March. Um, we're using the 180 tick stop, we actually had a, had a profit. And once again in June, with the uh, Forex loss in June using the 180 tick stop, um, we actually managed to just sneak in a, a, a small profit there for June. Um, flicking over to the Comparison. This is just a summary of uh, the six months to June using the the top uh, section. There is the tick stop, and the bottom section is the 180 tick stop. And out to the right, we've got some return figures there. The top one is um, is based on the uh, just return on margin. And as you as you know, if you've been to previous webinars, we use an account size, and hypothetical account size of two times margin, which is a, a conservative, not overly conservative, but it's a, um, it's a conservative approach. So we've got an account size of two times margin, so we've got our return based on, on account. And um, using the tech stops for six months here to date, a 98.8% return um, is nothing short of outstanding. Uh, just having a look at uh, July. Um, once again, July has uh, followed on from June and is um, is not proving to be to be great for the first half of July. Um, but a slight reversal in that we've got currently got our tech uh, stop 
um, outperforming our 180 tick stop. So slightly, uh, slightly in profit on the uh, tech stop and, and equally um, amount uh, in loss um, using the 180 tick stop. Um, the, just quickly to mention that um, as John has said, at the moment we are generating uh, all, of these, um, all of these results uh, on a manual basis. Huge amount of data to be to be entered uh, manually, um, and the work that uh, Glenis is doing, that Sage is doing there, is just absolutely immense. Um, I come along at the end and and uh, take all of her hard work and just put it into the summaries. But it's um, basically it's a, I guess what you describe as a as a best human effort, and we are. We're very, very close to being able to revert this into, into computer-generated results. Um, Terry has been doing some absolutely fabulous work. Uh, John's invested quite a lot in getting, um, in getting the, the programming um, actually functioning, and we're very hopeful that, uh, that we're exceed, extremely close to, to reverting these results to being actually computer-generated which will eliminate um, any human error. Um, the other significant thing about the computer generated results is that they will also um, incorporate an element of slippage um, and that element of slippage would be very, very close to what you'd expect in, in normal trading. So the only thing that you would then have to overlay over, over top of that um, would be the, the brokerage fees or commissions um, to to get what we believe would be a you know, very very accurate result in terms of in terms of accurate trading. Um, so we're pretty excited that uh, that we're very close to achieving that, and it won't be too far away before we're, we're able to actually show you and report some of those results to you. Um, just quickly before I finish is. I just wanted to reinforce uh, or point out to you one of John's very recent articles that's uh, on the Daniel Code website, uh, Forex Forensics. I think the full title might be Forex Forensics Can Make You Rich or, or some similar wording. Um, I've known John for um, a lot of years um, and I think as John has maybe previously mentioned uh, before the Daniel Code. Uh, even existed and before before John started uh, started writing, and I've pretty much um, read every article that he's ever written. And if you haven't read this forex forensics article that's on the website at the moment, you're really missing out on something. You need to go and read it. It's I rate it as one of the uh, one of the most insightful and best um, articles that uh, that John's ever written. Um, so make sure you go and take a look at it because there's some real um, hidden, hidden uh, uh, gems of knowledge contained within that article. Um, okay, John, I've tried to get, I've got that through that fairly quickly because I realise we're quite over time. So um, can hand hand back to you. Thanks very much, Daryl. That's uh, absolutely great of you. If you can throw this back to me, um, that would be good. Uh, maybe I can. I don't. Let me yeah, see. Thank you, I, John, and, and then um, just uh, let's see. Okay, we dismiss you as a presenter. I, I hope that's not dismissive, but thank you, Daryl. Um, so we should be now back to uh, seeing my screen. Hopefully, um, let's see what we've got. Um, there is no presenter. Okay, so that'll be me. Uh, okay, so um, you should be able to see my screen over here, folks. Um, let's see, this is all still uh, working good. You've, there are a few questions, and I want to deal with them uh, very quickly. We've gone a bit over time due to our full start this morning, for which uh, I apologize. Um, T bone pickings. <coughs> Any way to identify in advance which blue line will apply? No. Uh, this is a common misconception about trading. Uh, what I can tell you is the markets, when they turn, will turn at a Daniel Code blue line. 
Uh, and if you'd like to uh, go to the Daniel Code website and check, click on the chart archives, uh, give yourself a cup of tea for that file to open. It's got almost 30,000 charts in it uh, that I've created over the last six or seven years for members. Every market turns, it makes its, all its major and intermediate turns at a Daniel Code blue line. Can I tell in advance which one it is? No, I can't. Uh, it requires a few things to happen. First of all, uh, for the blue line turns, you need uh, the fast stochastic, it's special Daniel Code stochastic. Um, that's a bit different to normal stochastics. Uh, but there's a 533. You can get these from our uh, Daniel Code library. It's available free to all members. Uh, that needs to be overbought. Um, the blue line uh, target needs to be recognized with a high degree of precision. The slow stochastic, that's the 1433, needs to be overbought, and we need failure on our proprietary momentum indicator, which is an adjusted CCI tool, uh, also in the Daniel Code library, which you can have for free once you're a member. Now, when all those things happen, you get a setup bar. The next thing, T, is we don't have the hubris to say that we know what markets are going to do in advance, so we need the market to confirm to us that it agrees with us. And to do that, the trade has to be elected, which means on a sell signal, it has to trade two ticks below yesterday's bar. So there's a procedure, but you can't uh, guess these things in advance. Okay. Uh, Pete Townsend on the ES, the second position would have been stopped out on a break even yesterday. Uh, I hope I've dealt with that, Pete. That happens a lot. People get very annoyed about it. Um, but if you follow this program, it will return you 7% a month. If you want to ignore the first target and just uh, uh, use a trailing stop or some other stop, that's fine as long as you um, have got a stop. Um, Babs asked, what's, uh, you, how do you determine your trailing stop size? Um, if you're working from the daily charts, Babs, what we do is we use a two-bar trailing stop until the fast stochastic, that's the Daniel Code Special 533 stochastic, uh, until percent K in there gets into oversold, that's at 20%, uh, and you can fudge that a bit, about 23% I use, and then you move to a one-bar trailing stop, uh, and you wait for either a new Daniel Code signal to be elected, uh, or you are stopped out. Um, if you uh, are trading our faster stuff, Frank Zen, uh, then it, it, we tell you with every tech signal you get um, about that. Um, Bruce Johnson, no Forex in Frank Zen. Yes, there are, mate. There are nine Forex uh, pairs that we trade, Bruce. Um, and uh, um, that's what Daryl's been talking about. Uh, Daryl from Richard Coombe. Hi, Daryl. Are the results from the Frank Zen system displayed? actually traded results or are they theoretical results? Well, they're hypothetical, Richard, in that they're not traded in a real money account, uh, but they're almost real time because what happens is that uh, both Daryl and Sage get the tech signals uh, just as clients do and they uh, record those um, and then as soon after as possible, or always on the same day, uh, they go and they pick up the minute uh, that that tech signal was generated uh, and that's the start of their trade. So they are hypothetical, uh, but in the same sense, uh, they're almost real time. Uh, T bone pickings. Why losses arise when DC knows in advance where markets turn? Well, we don't know that, and uh, I think I've explained that to you. Uh, T uh, Bernard, if you trade Frank Zen, do you get these blue lines? Um, I think we're working on that, Bernard. Um, the, the, the blue lines are on the Fraxen daily charts. If you remember the Daniel Code, you get those and they're uh, updated twice a week uh, for all of the Fraxen markets. So the answer there is yes. Um, <coughs> we're actually working on a program uh, that the blue lines will appear automatically on your charts. But uh, it's a bit of a, a business at the moment. So for now, uh, you'll just take the blue lines from your uh, Daniel Code members chart, um, which, as I say, are updated twice a week. All of the Fraxen markets are covered, futures and forex, uh, and put those on your chart. When they're taken out, uh, put the next one on your chart. Uh, Kel, hello, mate. Glad you're here with us. Uh, thank you. Um, Stephen, uh, which market to beginners trade with the TO3 signals? Uh, Stephen, um, most people will trade uh, the S&P E-mini um, and also uh, bonds, T-bonds, US T-bonds. 
um, uh, they're pretty good. Um, and uh, well, you can just have a look at the recording of this uh, slide uh, and see which other markets there were useful. Um, uh, everybody wants to trade the S&P E-mini and gold. I can tell you they're not the best trading markets, but they are the most popular. But they both uh, do well on our program. So probably the S&P E-mini. Uh, and um, you ought to take a look at sugar because sugar has a very, very small margin and a high tick value. It has a, a, a margin of only $550. Uh, Stephen works very well. Uh, John, have no video picture, only Windows screen. I'm sorry about that. Uh, that's not our fault, John. You'll be able to see the video uh, which I've recorded, which will be uh, up on the uh, website um, uh, in 24 hours. Harold, hello, my friend. How are you over there in uh, Reading? Uh, can I trade options or ETF with this system? Absolutely. Uh, it's fantastic. Go for it. Um, Babs, you close a fill position in a loss if a new signal is generated in the opposite direction. Yes. Uh, take each signal as it comes. Babs, uh, John still having a problem seeing our screen. I don't know why uh, I do apologize. John, it's, uh, uh, you'll be able to see it all right uh, on the video that's coming. Um, so uh, that's it, folks. Thank you very much for your attendance today. Uh, don't forget next week, two webinars. Uh, one will be part two of this uh, trading webinar. We'll talk about the plus signals and what happens after TO3 signals are elected. Uh, what is going to likely happen the next few days and uh, how you can capitalize on that. Uh, so thank you for your attendance. And on Thursday, don't forget, Frank de Bayer is going to do a special webinar with me so I can introduce him to you. Uh, he's our contender in the Robins World Cup uh, Championship. Uh, and um, uh, I'm going to, uh, Frank and I are going to talk about uh, uh, the fourth seal and the fifth seal, our amazing uh, Daniel Code system that forecasts market turns weeks and uh, sometimes months in advance. Um, okay, T, here's T again. Yes, thank you, T. Uh, yeah, Friday afternoon down here, mate. And uh, Oh, shift, I've got to tell you my deepest and most humble apologies. Um, <coughs> that definition you gave me for PIP is exactly spot on. So uh, shift's a great mate of mine um, and he's a pretty smart guy. done a lot of Daniel Code um, webinars and tutorials um, in particular. Great fun to be with. Um, so at uh, shift, yes, I apologise profusely, mate. Your um, percentage on, but you're exactly right. Uh, thank you very much. So that's it, folks. Friday afternoon, ten minutes to twelve. Um, it's warm enough to get by the pool here, Daryl. Twenty-one degrees. I'll be having a few bloody marys by the pool very shortly. So thank you for your attendance here today, folks. Don't forget two important webinars next week. I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you, and. Uh,